What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing Crafty Corn from Poppy Playtime. Let's begin today's lesson all the way at the top of our page with the horn. We start on the left side, let's draw a curve across the base, coming down and then up. Now you want to angle the horn out towards the left. So starting on the left side of that curve, we're going to go out and then up, round up the tip, come across and then down towards the right side. Let's add a couple lines along the inside. Starting from the top, come down and up, step down and draw that again. Now just underneath the horn, let's draw in the hair. We start with a curve coming down towards the right, go around and just pull that up and in. Let's draw the ear right beside the hair. We're going to step down, curve it around and back out, curl this up towards the top. Let's round up the ear, come down, and just bend that in towards the bottom. Now we're going to go back and draw the outside of the hair on the left. Let's start from this point, step down, curl this down, go all the way around the outside, pull this up above the horn. Now I want to bring this all the way across and then down to create a fold. Step back, come down and up, and then down on top of the ear. Let's add the back ear in behind the hair on the left. I'm going to go up, come down, and in. Let's go back to the right ear and add that fold. We start with a curve, going up and in. Go up and out. Round this out and come back in towards the bottom. Now I'm going to move down and draw the front edge of the muzzle. Let's start from the top. I'm just going to draw the nose bridge coming around and then out. Step back over towards the right, draw the nose, going out, come down, and then in. Now I want to curve this all the way around the corner of the mouth, going up, out, and then bend that down. Now I'm going to go to the left side of the nose and draw the mouth. We're going to go up, and then we'll bend that down. Let's create an overlap on the corner of the mouth. So on the left, we're going to step up, come down, Bend that in towards the bottom of the mouth, round up the mouth, go up towards the right, and then we'll just tuck that in. Let's place the tongue on the bottom right side. I'm going to go up, add that fold coming down, step back up, go up, and then down. Now inside the muzzle, we're going to add the nostrils. Starting from the outside, coming in and down, move over and draw another one. Now on the left side, we're going to tuck the edge of the eye underneath the hair in behind the nose. So start on the top, come around, just pull that in. Let's add a fold just above the mouth on the right side. So we'll start down here, go up and out. Let's tuck the eye in underneath the hair, starting at the top, come around, and then out in behind that fold. Go to the outside, round this out, and then pull that in. In the center of each eye, we're going to draw an oval. We'll tuck this one underneath the hair, coming down and then up. And do the same thing on the right side. On the outside of the left eye, let's step out, draw the head, coming around and then down. Now I'm going to trace the mouth along the outside. Going out, come down towards the bottom, and just round out the chin. Let's go up above the corner of the mouth on the right, curve this around the cheek come down and just blend that in. Let's close off the side of the head with a curve. Now I'm going to add the hair coming out on the right side. Start underneath the ear, come around and then in. Step down, go out, bend that in. Add another curve going out and then in underneath the head. Now I'm going to switch to a thick black marker and fill the inside of the eyes and the mouth.
Now we're gonna go back and add some eyebrows above the eyes. Let's start on the left side, and then it's up, and then down. Go to the right side, we're just gonna overlap the hair, going out and then down. Now with the head complete, let's move down and draw on that front arm. We're gonna start underneath the head, bend this around, and just down towards the bottom. Just round out the bottom of the arm, and then pull that up on the outside. Now you want to taper the arm so it gets narrower up towards the shoulders. So we're just going to round out the arm, come in and then up, and just round out the top. Let's add a seam across the bottom of the arm. Now over on the left side, just underneath the chin, we're going to draw on that flower. Let's start with a circle in the middle. Now it's going to work our way around adding these petals, almost like these half ovals, starting at the top and just working our way around. Let's go back underneath the head, curve the body going out, in behind the flower, go to the outside, curve the belly going out, and just bend that in behind the arm. Now the left arm is going to be bent up. Let's start from the top of the flower, then it's up, come down towards the bottom, and pull that up in behind the body. Let's add a fold across the top with a curve. Step down and add a seam. Now from the center of the body, we're gonna stretch the right leg forward. So down here, then it's down and then out. Round up the foot, come across towards the right. Now I just wanna taper this and bend that back up towards the body. Let's add a seam across the bottom, just like we did with the arms. And then we'll bend the left leg back in behind. Let's start from the top, then it's out and down. Now we're going to come down towards the bottom on the outside, bend the leg, going out, round this out, and just tuck that back in. Let's add a seam across the bottom. Now we're going to tuck the tail in behind the body on the right side. Let's start from the side of the arm, start by going up, and we'll bend that down. Let's step up, curl this around and up, Round up the tail, come down, and then bend that in. Now we're going to go back underneath the arm and just curve the tail coming down and just pull that up underneath. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Crafty Corn from Poppy Playtime. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.